My name is Patricia Adams, and I am the proud daughter of the Reverend Dr. Alger L. Adams, who graduated from Hobart in 1932, Phi Beta Kappa. My dad never thought of himself as the great man that he was. I don't know why, but he didn't. He was accepted to Hobart with a full four-year scholarship in 1929. He got on the bus from Omaha, Nebraska with $17 in his pocket and came to Geneva. Clearly he was an adventurer. But it wasn't until Dad got to Geneva and Hobart actually saw what color he was before it really registered. And they said, well, we've given you a full four-year scholarship, but you're not going to be able to live here. And so he was supported by many members of the black community of Geneva. And they, they were proud of him because this was hope, going to be Hobart's first black graduate. I don't think Dad was consciously aware of the legacy he left there at Hobart by being the first black graduate. He, he knew it, but he just graduated from college as far as he was concerned. All the rest of us, of course, are very excited about it. <laughs> no question, he was a Renaissance man. I mean, he played guitar, he played piano, published a novel, and then of course he painted, bought a newspaper, Westchester County Press, to create a vehicle that would network all of Westchester's black communities. My dad was a very proud black man. Never missed an opportunity to stand up for black causes, all of the issues around housing, education, and employment. He was active in anything that had to do with improving the life and economic experience of black people. 